Hi guys, it's Angie with Rags, Tags, and Confections, and I thought I would come on with you today and share with you the embellishment part of the haul that we got from CreatedHomeWithG.com. Now, I apologize that everything is now out of the bags other than the larger embellishments. I attempted to record this once, and somehow I lost all my footage, so now I'm going to have to go back and redo it, but hopefully it'll still go smoothly and you'll... You can appreciate um, just pulling things out of our boxes. But to start with, since these are out, I'm going to pull out the larger um, corner bracket embellishments that um, we purchased for Andrew's boxes and wood books that he's working on making. The first is this oops, really pretty filigree um, corner bracket very very pretty and these are metal and they kind of have just a little bit of a give to them a bend so that in the event you know maybe your uh, what piece you're working on isn't completely straight this will conform to what you're working on and then this one is the one that's a little more solid another beautiful piece and still it will conform out slightly to um, if your piece isn't completely flat or maybe you want it to have some texture and raise it up just a little bit. And again, these ones are also metal. Oh, sorry guys. Slide this aside. These, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to sit down and play with these. These are two different styles of flowers. Oh, actually three. Okay, I missed that on the first round. Good thing I had to redo this. I'm getting there, guys. Sorry. Okay, now that is, there are two styles there. The way they were layered up, I thought it was two different, um, or three different styles, but. Okay. This first one is the filigree. Very open, very airy. Move that so you can see the holes through there. Very beautiful. And then the solid form. And what I had discovered um, when trying to record this the first time, and I was just laying things down, that this solid image will fit right in the middle of that filigree. And I think that would look so pretty layered together with a half back um, gem on the middle of that. Even maybe add a little bit of dimension between the two to lift the petals apart a little bit. But these are also metal, and I'm kind of curious what um, alcohol ink will do to them. So I really want to take some time to play with those. I'm hoping to have time this week, but I guess that's going to depend on how much I push myself to get done. <laughs> okay, so now I want to um, move these aside here. I'll keep going with the metal embellishments first here. And this was the part that... As I was taking things um, out of the bags, um, I was showing you guys these and then I put them in the um, Dollar Tree containers. These are the um, 3, 6, 9, 12, po or 12 hole um, boxes that you get at the Dollar Tree. Uh, they serve the purpose very well for holding the um, smaller embellishments. So in here we have the, I'll move this off to the side so these show a little better. We have the filigree butterfly and again absolutely beautiful metal and we have a couple different styles of keys here let's see if I can pull them all out first we have the little skeleton key have this beautiful ornate key with the hearts on which resembles a skeleton key as well and then this style key all of which are very very pretty and metal as well so again I'm wondering what um, what I can do to distress them and color them and let's see you go in there you go there Yes, guys, I'm quite anal about where 
putting embellishments away. <laughs> nothing, to me, nothing's worse than trying to work on something and I know where it should be and then it's not there. We ordered two different styles of cog, or two different sizes of cogs. We have the larger one and the smaller one. Very nice, um, sturdy, heavy metal. You can see I can't bend that at all. I mean, not that I have much for strength anyway, but um, yeah. We have those small and large. These really, really pretty snowflakes. Lay that down there if you guys can see. Um, the detail went on a little bit more on the white. Um, some people may think it's early in the year for snowflakes, but for those of us who do run craft shows, uh, we, we got to start Christmas like now to, <laughs> to have any kind of stock build up for shows. And uh, yeah, Andrew and I, we're, we're usually still lagging behind, but we get there. This is an absolutely beautiful filigree flower. just gorgeous again it's metal and slightly flexible and I just I can't wait to get in here and play with these and on the last of the metal embellishments that we have were these absolutely adorable tiny little umbrellas now Gareth had set up a uh, what he was doing was an ATC swap and was asking anybody who wanted to swap with him um, and what month they would like to have. So I chose April. And I've never done ATCs before, but the theme I thought that immediately popped into my head was April showers. And then going through the website, I seen that he had these cute little umbrellas. So I want to try to incorporate this onto an ATC card and to send back to him. We also had gotten some wooden cogs as well. And they're a nice thick uh, piece of wood, nice and sturdy. They'll hold up to some different techniques. Um, now I do do a lot of crocheting as well and I hope to share that with you here very soon as we're slowly getting things more organized and getting things together. But ordered these little buttons that say handmade with love to crochet on to, or to sew onto the pieces I've crocheted and the one thing nice with Gareth's store um, with any of these metal embellishments he sells them by the piece so if you only need one piece two pieces that's fine you only have to order one or two pieces um, now I usually try to order at least um, 10 of each now some of these I didn't order quite that much but I try to at least or at least 10 of each um, just so we have a little bit of a stock now even though the shipping is quite quick um, from coming for the UK um, I still like to have them on hand just in case so that's the the metal and the wood embellishment <clears throat> we have these um, little containers they have 12 little slots in here and these Ow, 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 okay, sorry guys, um, side note here, um, <laughs> we have a new family member, this is Godiva, aka Diva, who is a, going to be a Calico Persian, and, um, she came into our family a week ago, and Andrew calls her my growth because, no matter where I go, she goes, and she just tried to climb off the back of my shoulder. She come up the back of the chair and up onto my shoulder, and um, yeah, didn't feel so good. So I'm going to try to get her out of the way here, but yeah, he's known I've wanted a Persian for a good while, and um, yeah, I'm talking about you. Tell everybody hi. You're little Miss Spoiled, little Miss Thing, and she's going to suck my fingers. I don't know what's up with that, but right now she's going to go because... It's not kitty time, it's haul time. Okay, so back to the um, pearls, or the, not pearls. Some of them, they, they kind of have a pearlescent look to them, and I guess it would help if I opened, there we go. Um, they have a pearlescent look to them. You see there's white, there's a light blue, 
pink, a dark pink, light pink. And there's a couple other colors down in there too, but these are just beautiful. I mean, I can't wait to be able to have time to play and just start mixing these in with different pieces. Very, very pretty. And there's 12 holes. All of them are filled. These are all the same size, just different. Just mixed up in the, the little slots. And I love that they come in the little sliding package that um, you don't have to dump everything out at one time. You can just get what you need and then keep these containers and you can refill them with you know, all kinds of things, even maybe your little itty bitty glitters. And so that one's that. This one is filled with halfback pearls. Now these pearls will go, there's 12, 12 different sizes. Let me see if I can get one of these out. I had trouble trying when I tried to record this the first time. Of course I get two out this time. Okay, so these little half backs go from this very, very delicate, teeny tiny little beauty to the larger size and everything in between. And there's quite a number in here. And I like that there are 12 different sizes, so you could vary them very nicely on. Um, any piece that you do and tweezers come in quite handy when working with these to get um, in and out of the little holes at least for my big fingers I do anyhow okay now he also has these packages of um, 12 uh, flat back gems and they come in 12 different colors these are the round version and there are quite a number of them in there. Now these I do find easier to get out with, like a quick stick or tweezers. But they're just absolutely beautiful. So shiny. And I apologize that the washing machine is running in the background. I'm sure that's not what you want to hear, but on top of doing videos and craft shows and selling things out of our home um, we do have to run a house to keep this all this going <laughs> so I hope you can understand that but there's another set of the tw um, 12 colors but these are the square these are square half back and these are just as beautiful or they could be diamonds depending on which angle you put them on your piece absolutely brilliant the colors are just mind-boggling beautiful the pictures no picture will do them justice till you actually see them now onto this um, last package oh I guess I do still have some metal embellishments here but okay we'll get to them last here and now these little guys I must tell you to be completely honest I kind of like how they looked in the, on the web page. I was like, okay, they're kind of cute. And I was like, I, I might be able to find something to do with them. And then whenever they came and I finally had a chance to open the box, I was awestruck with just how brilliant and shiny and pretty these little embellishments are. Those are the three colors that he has. The red, the turquoise aqua -y color and a purple they are a um, plastic um, backing and the half back gem in the middle but regardless of it being plastic these are still stunning I was amazed that they looked this nice in in person so I was glad that I took the chance and, and ordered them and the same way with these two as well. These are just stunning. I mean, they looked pretty on the web page, the picture, 
but until you get them in your hand and see just how shiny and reflective they really are yeah, I'm looking forward to um, doing some Mother's Day cards and including these and I think I may hold on to the red ones to do um, as poinsettias on Christmas cards sorry guys I have no idea what that was I'm going to have to go check that out here I don't have pause right now because I'm using a different camera so hopefully it's nothing catastrophic a day in my life welcome to a day in my life okay and this is one of the larger metal roses there are various colors of those as well there's blue green yellow purple oops like aqua color, pool color. Okay, that's the, the larger flowers. Now in comparison, these are the smaller. This is the smaller of the roses. So there are two different sizes and both are equally just beautiful. I, I don't even know how to else to describe these items. They're just, wow. I was just literally taken aback with how nice the things looked um, in person. Now, to get back to our metal embellishments, which I thought were all in the other container, but they weren't. Um, we have a few of the seahorses, and these are a nice heavy metal, and um, I really can't wait to see what some alcohol inks will look like on these to um, gussy them up a little bit hold that up there not that you guys can get that out of the way maybe that'll work very very pretty and then the ah! little gold metal dragonflies these are just beautiful 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 and in our we live in a very rural um, agricultural agricultural area so these two items will go nicely um, with some of the items that we do create here one is a cowboy boot with a spur and the other is the cow skull and these are a nice heavy silver colored metal beautiful detail on them absolutely beautiful detail and then we have the Christmas wreath which is also that silver metal and these are quite weighty for the size of them they're they're not chintzy pieces at all so there we have that one and then there are a couple different Parisian pieces that he has And these are half back. Okay, these are the half back pieces. I think um, these may get included on the um, ATCs as well. Get over there where you belong. And then lastly, um, these little Eiffel Towers so pretty and they're in the gold color so that is the embellishment part of our haul from um, createdhomewithg.com and I will post a link to his store down below in the description box and okay I will fight with that here off camera guys but um, I will post a link for his store in the description box and um, please be sure to go and check out his um, not just his embellishment line but we've not had any problems with any of the products that we've ordered they come quickly and packed professionally 
and, you know, the only issue we've had is customs going through things, and, well, that's not neither here nor there on um, Gareth's part. That's just customs here in the States doing what they do for whatever reason they do it. I probably don't even want to know why they do it. But that is, that's that being said. Um, but please do go check out his store and um, I guarantee you will not be disappointed. So I'm going to try to upload um, Wednesday and Friday. And of course we will be back Saturday live. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to have planned um, for this week. Some the past couple times it hasn't been planned at all. We're just kind of winging it. And I've really liked the outcome. So we hope you guys can join us for that. And until then, guys, have a great Monday and a great rest of your week. And please take care and be safe. And if y'all are going to be in the uh, brink of this uh, next snowstorm coming through, please take care. And keep yourselves warm. Take care, guys, and we will see you when we see you. Bye, y'all.